Hi, I'm Chris Shifflett, owner of Tranquility of Dalton, and with me today is Teresa Carter. Mm -hmm. We are outside on a humid, hot <laughs> summer afternoon, and it's been about a year and a half or so since we um, talked to everyone uh, when we opened mm -hmm. uh, back in 2013. And um, we've just got a lot of exciting things that have happened here at Tranquility over that time period. And especially what we're getting ready to do here, Teresa, which I know is something that's, that's dear to your heart, mm -hmm. um, is a memory care center that is currently wrapping up construction, will be complete later this summer mm -hmm. and um, so exciting yeah we've we've really uh, had, a, had a lot of exciting things happen here over the last year and a half you know we opened um, in May of 2013 not really knowing what to expect mm -hmm. not really knowing how the community would uh, receive Tranquility of Dalton brand new business mm -hmm. uh, brand new facility for seniors of, in our area and it, it took us a few months to, to get the word out in town that you know we we really cared about seniors and we yes. really um, did our very best to take mm -hmm. care of seniors and, and and their families and since that time we've steadily grown um, we've pretty much been full now for for about a year yes. um, but I guess it was December of 2013 that we made a decision um, to enter into memory care. Chris, we had so many calls. About every five calls we had, four people needed a secured memory unit. And that was really not our plan when we That's opened right. Tranquility. We were you know, wanting to be a traditional senior living home and we provide those services now. Mm -hmm. The majority of our residents are non-memory care, but we did take a hallway and we secured it um, December of 2013 and we, over the next month or two, gradually filled that hallway mm -hmm. with residents who suffer either from Alzheimer's or related dementia, mm -hmm. or they have some type of impairment of this, their cognitive ability mm -hmm. to, to function. And we, during that period, our staff received um, a very high level training to yes. deal with that specific mm -hmm. resident population. And we've been doing that for a little over a year. And just in the course of our involvement in the community and mm -hmm. You're out and about all the time. Mm -hmm. You're on the, the board of the Alzheimer's Association mm -hmm. here, very active in, in our community. Mm -hmm. We've tried to be um, a community partner since the day that we opened and a resource for seniors yes. in this area. You and I both came to the conclusion pretty quick mm -hmm. that although having a dedicated memory care facility mm -hmm. was something we had talked about for you know the future, yes. being years in mm -hmm. the future, we just felt that in order to adequately respond to the community's needs at mm -hmm. the present time, that we needed to step out and go ahead and enter into that, that area. Yes. So um, just to the, the, the back side of our campus here, we have a seven and a half acre site. Mm -hmm. We're located off of Cleveland Highway mm -hmm. um, behind the Tractor Supply, which is the old Winn-Dixie Shopping mm -hmm. Center. Um, now we've got a 21, 22,000 square foot existing facility. We have 34 residents living with us now, but we're constructing a facility that's designed specifically for memory care and mm -hmm. Alzheimer's. I know mm -hmm. you had a lot of impact in that design mm -hmm. and we we you know really spent some some time and did some research of how to adequately lay that building yes. out um, and it's under construction and it's getting very near completion. Um, it, Lots really of close. meaningful activities will be created there you know the stations will have the 50s um, Elvis pictures with the jukebox. We'll even have a man's work or men's workshop. Yeah, the, the purpose, not just to have a building where people's daily needs are met mm -hmm. and, and, and places for us to do activities like we do at our current facility. Mm -hmm. This particular facility is specifically designed aesthetically, mm -hmm. architecturally, mm -hmm. and the activities that we have planned specifically for memory care mm -hmm. residents. The whole facility is secure. There are three wings mm -hmm. with eight units on each wing mm -hmm. and as you mentioned um, the decor, the design, the activities that are um, available mm -hmm. uh, they will be catered to that mm -hmm. resident population mm -hmm. and very nostalgic, very hands-on mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a place that stimulates yes. them mentally, yes. um, emotionally and, and I love the fact too Chris that you provided a lot of freedom for them. It's a secured unit but yet there's a lot of freedom throughout the building. Yeah it's not um, as you find in some facilities 
where the memory care folks are kind of pushed off to the back and you know they're kind of locked up in the rear of the building. Yes. This this is a separate facility, standalone facility mm -hmm. that is entirely mm -hmm. dedicated just for memory care mm -hmm. residents. So talking a little bit about the construction that we've mm -hmm. got going on, um, you know, the, the other thing that I want to stress to, to, to our listeners is the degree to which we're involved here locally and want to be mm -hmm. a resource for seniors. Absolutely. So, so often, and that's one thing that I've enjoyed working with you the last two years is so many facilities are very focused on on sales and you know they're owned by some out-of-state corporation where uh, you know this the, the emphasis is on having you know bodies in your mm -hmm. building that's great you know we want to take care of residents and, and we certainly want to be full but more important we're focusing on the needs absolutely whether they become a resident here yes. or not we have had numerous occasions where we have really just served as a resource for their family yes. And it did not result in us gaining a resident, but we impacted their lives in a positive way and helped them to make decisions that was to the benefit of, of that particular individual and, and their family. Yes. So we've got a lot going on here. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we are, are really looking forward to our memory care facility coming online later this summer. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have some type of grand opening, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, and we'll invite the community out to, to come and see what we're doing. Mm -hmm. But the facility that we've been in for the last two years will continue on just as it's been. It will transition back to being more what it was when it was originally designed, which is a senior living facility for non-memory related um, residents. Yes. And um, you know, a lot of great activities there. Mm -hmm. uh, one other thing I'd like to mention that kind of happened that we didn't plan for Talk a little bit about our independent living that we have oh, across the, the street. Love our independent living. We have 14 condominiums and, and they are, are filling up quite quickly with seniors who are independent but uh, enjoy engaging our activities and, and our, our meals are delicious so they come over you know, at their, at their convenience and, and enjoy our activities and our delicious dining. Yeah, those 14 units, they're, they're part of the Tranquility mm -hmm. Campus we do provide some some limited oversight but yes. they are independent they're two bedroom two bath they've got their own freedom their own kitchen their own you know they're living on their own yes. but they do get the benefits of our facility and the activities that happen here mm -hmm. and our staff checks on them daily mm -hmm. and we just keep a watchful eye over them mm -hmm. and it's kind of a transition from living on your own to being part of a facility mm -hmm. so you know we've we've come a long way in the last mm -hmm. year and a half from a brand new senior living facility mm -hmm. to um, memory care that's yes. about to come online to the independent living mm -hmm. and you know we're just really looking forward and we're excited about where things are are headed in the future Very we think so. we've got a lot going on here um you know teresa I, i'm gonna brag on you a little bit she's got about 18 years experience as an executive director um very good at what she does uh teresa um really runs a, a really good ship here mm -hmm. and uh, you know really thankful for for her uh, being the director here at Tranquility and you know, well, just looking I'm forward to the, for you, the things Chris, coming and, coming and I love the, the concept that you designed it for your own parents it's well, good enough for your own family long story oh. uh, we've got just a few more moments here uh, uh, very often we get asked you know how did you end up with Tranquility of Dalton mm -hmm. where did Tranquility of Dalton you know come from mm -hmm. You know, my, my background is in banking. That's mm -hmm. what I've done since college. Mm -hmm. And about four years ago, four and a half years ago, my, my dad, who was approaching 80 at the time, and most of the folks here that know me know I'm originally from Cedartown, Georgia. Mm -hmm. My wife and I both are. And up until last year, mm -hmm. my parents lived down there. Mm -hmm. And my father, nearly 80 years old, fell off the roof of the house. Mm -hmm. And he broke his femur where it went into his hip. Mm -hmm. and you know, his health really deteriorated at that point. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my parents are an hour and a half away mm -hmm. and I really just started proactively looking here locally and trying to determine if the future held in their cards, mm -hmm. being in some type of facility, what what would I do, where would I go? And and went to several facilities and, and you know, I just decided, you know, Chris, you why don't you just do it yourself? Mm -hmm. So did a lot of praying about it, a lot of research, mm -hmm. and determined that, you know, that's what we needed to do mm -hmm. for our community. Mm -hmm. And it's just been amazing how it, 
you know, the right people came, mm -hmm. you being no, one of those folks to, to Tranquility and the, the staff that we have. Yes. And, you know, we've been able to, to do things the right way yes. and, and grow in much faster than we anticipated mm -hmm. into this memory care. And before I forget, and I don't know why I've, I've mentioned it, I have not mentioned it yet, is we also have a sister facility in Cartersville. Yes. Um, about a year and a half ago, there was a facility there that was in dire need of some improvement mm -hmm. and um, don't think they were really going to make it. And, mm -hmm. and we were fortunate enough to be able to acquire that facility. Mm -hmm. It's about a mile north of the hospital on Highway 41. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not a memory care facility. You, I know you, you kind of helped us with the remodel mm -hmm. and you've provided some oversight mm -hmm. and training to Lisa Greason, who mm -hmm. is our director there. Mm -hmm. But it's a 25 unit senior living home mm -hmm. located in a really growing part of the state, which is Bartow County, just north of the hospital, looks very similar to our it building does. here. Um, we remodeled it and it's a, a very nice, nice place and they're nearing capacity as well. Mm -hmm. They have maybe one or two rooms available, you know, right now. Mm -hmm. So our areas kind of overlap a little bit, particularly around that Gordon County area. Yes. So, um, you know, in addition to Dalton, there is a facility that is just like our Dalton facility mm -hmm. down in, in Calhoun. Mm -hmm. So. Is there anything you'd like to add or something that, well, I, that it, I missed out it, on? It's, it's just a real blessing working with seniors and, and enjoy working with you, Chris. Uh, I'm thankful that it's very much uh, based on the individual needs. Uh, everyone's different, and, and I love the fact that it is based on individual needs. Well, we, we both, from the very beginning, we made a, a kind of a promise to each other, and most organizations that are successful um, create some type of mission statement and we didn't do that in a formal manner right. but everyone here that is on our staff and there's a few other people that we we need to mention carrie york oh, excellent. Um, has been instrumental since day one Very with us much. starting our memory care yes. she will be moving over to the memory care mm -hmm. building and will serve in, a, in an enhanced leadership type role yes. there but but from the very beginning we've made an effort to to kind of base our facility mm -hmm. and base our decisions on just doing the right thing. Absolutely. And and not always putting um, maybe the financial mm -hmm. needs of the business ahead mm -hmm. of, of the needs of our residents. Yes. And and we've we've really tried to do that and we've made a conscientious effort to, to be good stewards and to be good community mm -hmm. partners. Yes. And I, I think that that's paid off mm -hmm. operating in that manner. Yes. But, we also have Donna Voiles, who is mm -hmm. uh, new to our company, that will be taking Carrie's place as activity director mm -hmm. as Carrie transitions into her new role. Mm -hmm. And Neva Weaver, who kind of keeps everything running mm -hmm. here in, in the office. And we have a great staff of, of CNAs, mm -hmm. and our, our food is wonderful. Our food our, is delicious. Our, our kitchen staff mm -hmm. is, is top notch. Yes. And um, we just really look forward to having a brand new facility open mm -hmm. up yes. here soon. And we'd like to invite everyone out yes. to uh, just come pay us a visit mm -hmm. and, and get a tour and, and see what Tranquility has to offer as we continue mm -hmm. to serve the seniors of Northwest Georgia.